Our team met through the Drone User Group Network, the largest community organization in the country dedicated to teaching people how to build and fly their own flying robots. Through our community, each of us had seen literally hundreds of different drone designs from all around the country, but we weren't satisfied with anything we saw on the market. We saw a lot of kits out there that were powerful and flexible, but took a long time to put together and tune. And there were off-the-shelf products that worked out of the box, but were limited in their functionality. And there wasn't anything out there that was both powerful and convenient to carry. So we decided to create something that combined the best of everything we had seen, but was more elegant and accessible. And that's how we came up with the Pocket Drone, the world's first heavy lift microcopter. It's as powerful as an open source kit, works out of the box with everything you need like an off-the-shelf product, and is easy to take with you wherever you go without having to bring along an extra case or bag just for your drone. We've gone through numerous iterations to create the perfect drone product that can be used by everyone. The Pocket Drone is designed to be your personal flying robot. First time people see a 3D printer in motion, it, it's, it's captivating. People are mesmerized by it, and everybody wants to get involved. 3D printer is kind of like magic. One minute you have this box on your desk, and the next minute you see an object appearing out of thin air. At M3D, we knew at some point in the future, these tools would be a part of everyone's lives. Um, so we asked, why not now? But there hasn't been a truly affordable consumer printer that's easy to use. You just plug it in and hit print uh, until now and that's why we made the Micro 3D printer. We started with a seamless design and we looked at all the existing 3D printers and we took everything that we liked and redesigned everything else. We knew that in order for them to really live up to their potential that they had to be affordable and completely effortless to use. And several months uh, later we'd, we'd done it. In addition to reducing the size and the weight of the box, we also reduced the power consumption by about a factor of 10 compared to professional 3D printers. By making it more power efficient, you basically reduce your costs of every component. It becomes lighter, the electronics become more affordable, everything drops. We use auto leveling and auto calibration so that you're never messing with the printer. We decided we had to provide software that just makes it really easy. So we have a library of existing parts and select what you want, just hit print. People can use other sources for their filaments or they can use ours and it goes both ways. Other people with different printers can buy our filaments as well. The Micro 3D printer is for everyone. We designed it to be perfect for beginner users but also for expert users. Of course they're already very useful today. You can use it for things like replacing a shower hook or building real prototypes or even functional parts, uh, replacements for things around your house for example. And that's just scratching the surface of what 3D printers are capable of. We want you know, a printer in every single house, but in order to get there we're going to need the Kickstarter funds to make the molds. A lot of people are going to get a printer as their reward, but what they're really doing is they're, they're helping us get started and, and they're creating a new brand with us. We need a 3D printer like the Micro, something that's ultra affordable, to get lots of printers out there so people can nurture the technology and figure out where it's going to go. We knew it was coming. You know, somebody was going to do it. The question was who and how. A project like this started out with one or two people and I'm just floored by the amount of support we've gotten, so we have a lot of people to thank. We really strive to be innovative in everything that we do and I think people already see that. We're 
really looking to, to raise hell in the industry. You try to push boundaries every day. You need every training to get you closer to your goal. You always want more. We've created Swimmo to help you meet this challenge. Know your speed, your distance, your lap times. Control your pulse and the calories you burn. Set your goals and let Swimmo guide you through your training. Beat your personal best and challenge others. Push yourself when you are slowing down. Have full control over your body. Access your complete workout's history through the mobile app. Analyze and compare. It's you, the water, and Swimmo. You are here to win. We've started from a concept, and now Swimmo is here. Be a part of it. Please back Swimmo today. What you see in science fiction, tech fiction, is very quickly becoming possible. If you point the structure sensor out into the world, you're capturing the world. It's like uh, giving some sort of a super power to average Joe devices. What if you could give your mobile device a new sense? The ability to not just capture the world in two-dimensional images, but to actually understand it in three dimensions. The structure sensor does just that. It's the world's first 3D sensor for mobile devices. What I really am excited about with the structure sensor is it makes it so easy. You can clip it to a mobile device and walk around your world, basically pull your world into a digital form. My name is Jeff Powers, and I'm a founder of Occipital. We're passionate about giving devices the ability to see and understand the world around them. This isn't about taking pictures. It's about computer vision and interaction. We call it spatial computing. It's much bigger than just us, and it's going to change the way we interact with the world. Let me show you what you can do with it. You'll be able to capture every dimension of an entire room in a matter of seconds. And you can send a model to your phone so you can get any dimension you need at any time. You'll be able to easily capture and send three-dimensional objects across town or across the world and make decisions together even when you're apart. You'll be able to play games, games where the real world becomes the game world. Building hardware is something we had never done. Occipital is fundamentally a software company, so to create this device, we had to teach ourselves hardware design. And we were lucky enough to work with some of the best technology companies in the world, not the least of which is PrimeSense, the company whose technology actually powered the original Kinect. Applying 3D technology to mobile devices is an immense challenge. Occipital is geared to make it happen. They have the panel 360 and red laser, so this is a team that can actually pull this off. Structure works by capturing a pattern of invisible laser-projected light which allows you to measure thousands of distances all at once. The iPad has arguably the best user experience of any tablet, and it was important to us to go the extra mile to make Structure work specifically with it. Structure latches securely to your iPad. It connects via the new lightning connector. The end result is actually thermal design, mechanical design, industrial design, all being put together into one perfect object. Structure's single-piece body is machined from high-grade anodized aluminum. It serves as both a beautiful exterior and as a thermal core that keeps the precision optics inside at an optimal temperature. What's really important is get a platform out there and see what developers do with it. For the first time, you'll get an SDK that lets you tap into a 3D sensor on iOS. You'll have complete low-level access to the sensor. And if you don't feel like processing raw depth data, you can tap into the high-level APIs. Just write your application in Xcode and hit deploy. You can even launch your app on the App Store. If you want to develop on another platform, we're giving you everything you need, 
a USB hacker cable, open source drivers, and even open CAD specs so you can 3D print your own attachment for almost anything. I really like how this device was designed from the beginning to be open and hackable because we don't know which way it's going to go. Now it's time to get it into the right hands. Early adopters, developers, hackers. We're using Kickstarter to connect with you. We want to get sensors into the hands of some of the most creative people in the world to create new applications, to inspire new features, to help us make the sensor even better. New senses are gonna make possible new applications. Kickstarter backers have the opportunity to get a structure sensor before the rest of the world, complete with demo applications that you can use straight out of the box. It will also be providing source code for these demo applications. Details are on our Kickstarter page. As a backer, you'll get frequent updates about new things you can do with your sensor. Structure is the sensor we always wanted. Well, for me, the challenge has been in creating three-dimensional objects. This completely obliterates that challenge. Beyond thrilled that you guys are building this. Can I have one? <laughs> With your backing, we can take the structure sensor to the next level. Join us, get a sensor, and be one of the first to experience what happens when your mobile device can understand the world in three dimensions. I mean, I said, yes, finally somebody's doing that. <laughs>